The state of California's emergency preparedness office wants its citizens to prepare an emergency supply kit. They said to be prepared to use what you have on hand to make it on your own for three days, maybe longer. First one is water. They said to keep at least a three day supply of water, which would be one gallon of water per person per day. Food, they want you to store at least a three day supply of non-perishable food. They have a list of items that we're gonna go over. Ready to eat canned meats, fruits, and vegetables. Protein bars or fruit bars. Dry cereal or granola. Peanut butter, dried fruit, and nuts. Crackers, canned juices non-perishable pasteurized milk, high energy foods, food for infants, and comfort slash stress foods. Next, they want you to have a first aid kit. Here's a list of items that they want you to have inside the first aid kit. So it's two pairs of sterile gloves, sterile dressings to stop bleeding, soap and antibiotic towelettes to disinfect, antibiotic ointment to prevent infection, burn ointment to prevent infection, adhesive bandages in a variety of sizes, eye wash solution to flush the eyes, thermometer, prescription medications you take every day, prescribed medical supplies such as glucose and blood pressure monitoring equipment and supplies, medicine dropper, first aid book, and non-prescription drugs. Next, they have a section that's categorized under other items. Cell phone, scissors, tweezers, petroleum jelly, battery powered radio, flashlight, extra batteries, whistle to signal for help, and a dust mask, moist towelettes for sanitation, wrench or pliers to turn off utilities, plastic sheeting and duct tape to shelter in place, infant formula and diapers, garbage bags and plastic ties for personal sanitation, cash or traveler's checks and change, paper towels, a fire extinguisher, a tent and a compass, matches, signal flare, paper and pencil, feminine supplies, personal hygiene items and disinfectant, household bleach to use as a disinfectant and to purify water. The next category is clothing and bedding. In this section, we have one complete change of warm clothing and shoes per person, including a jacket or coat, long pants, a long sleeve shirt, sturdy shoes, a hat and gloves, a sleeping bag or warm blanket for each person and rain gear. The next category is special needs items. The first section underneath that is for infants. So make sure to keep the following in your emergency supply kit for infants. Formula, diapers, bottles, powdered milk, medications, moist towelettes, diaper rash ointment. For seniors and people with disabilities, consider these items. Denture needs, contact lens and supplies, extra eyeglasses. Additional supplies include a list of prescription medications, including dosages and any allergies, extra eyeglasses and hearing aid batteries, a list of the style and serial numbers of medical devices, such as pacemakers extra wheelchair batteries and oxygen, copies of medical insurance and Medicare cards, a list of doctors and emergency contact. They want you to have a portable emergency kit with the following items. The first item as usual is a three day supply of food and water, a battery powered radio, flashlight and extra batteries, a first aid kit, a whistle and a dust mask, moist towelettes for sanitation, a wrench or pliers to turn off utilities, a manual can opener, plastic sheeting and duct tape to shelter in place, items for unique family needs such as prescription meds, infant items, and important family documents, garbage bags and plastic ties for personal sanitation. And that's everything that they want you to have.